They're, they're a team with a lot of experience in these type of physical close games down the stretch. Uh, you, you know, what, what did you see as the difference late in the fourth quarter and, and in overtime in this one? Um, we had a couple uh, laps on the defense end. Uh, I think we had a couple fouls. Uh, I got to go back and, and watch specifically, but um, I definitely think we had a couple laps on both ends of the floor, but I think offensively too as well, we started to slow down a little bit and not play our style of basketball, but just playing with pace and moving it side to side. We kind of let it stick a little bit. Um, missed a couple easy ones, but um, yeah, I just think that, you know, they turned up the heat and they, they got a couple calls to go their way as well, but the combination of, you know, multiple things. You know, we, we talked about this after the, the Knicks game, but in these, you know, physical games against playoff contending teams, just how thin is the margin of error and how valuable are these type of games for your young group? Uh, it's huge. You know, uh, every game is a learning experience and, a, and an opportunity for us to show ourselves and, and learn how to get better and better chemistry and learn how to win um, a basketball game. And you know, tonight we had another chance to play a, a playoff like basketball game where it's going to be physical and it comes down to the wire. So, um, again, uh, just giving guys the experience of learning, although it wasn't the playoffs, but this is how, you know, the playoffs is going to be. And it's going to come down to every possession. It's not just in the last five minutes, but it's, you know, possession throughout the whole game and understanding that, you know, every little thing matters. So, uh, I think, again, this is going to be a, a huge learning experience. You know, uh, everybody's kind of upset that we didn't, you know, pull this one out, especially with the lead that we had. But um, can't hang our heads too bad, you know. Uh, Got to watch the film and, and try to get better. It seemed like, you know, guys were trying to get frustrated with some of the calls or lack of calls down the stretches. What's the, what are you telling guys in those moments? And I guess what's the importance of keeping the composure in those moments, even though things may, may not be going your way? Uh, it's huge, man. Uh, I think that, you know, uh, we keep preaching to each other, man. We're, we're not really going to get that many calls. That's how we got to think, you know. Uh, I mean, it's unfortunate, you know, it's a lot of emotion out there, especially when you're playing extremely hard and you feel like you're not getting the same calls that other teams are getting. But, um, again, you know, they're human. So uh, we got to control what we, what we can control and keep pushing. So that's something that, you know, we got to get better at as well, you know, uh, just yelling at the refs and trying to get calls. But, you know, it's part of the game. But, again, that's something that we got to really lock into and, and try to just pull each other, to, you know, together in those moments and, and stick together. Markel, uh, before tonight, your last uh, three-point made field goal came against the Washington Wizards on January 21st. How important is it for you to infiltrate a three-point shot uh, for your offensive scheme? Um, I mean, that's part of my game. Of course, I'm not, you know, going out there just trying to force up threes. You know, I'm a basketball player, so I'm going to do whatever I have to do to make the team win. You know, if I feel comfortable or if I feel like I have a, a chance to shoot a three, then I'm going to shoot it. But um, there's plenty of ways to be dominant on the floor, on both ends of the floor, and, and that's more so what I'm worried about. You know, that's something that I uh, obviously continue to work on every day as long as with other things on my in my game. But um, I'm just out there playing as hard as I can, trying to do whatever I can to, to help the team win. So that's all that matters to me. Jalen, your second unit, you know, has has made an impact on, on a number of games lately. Um, you know, how, how much pride do you guys take in the ability to swing open a game and, and impact it, especially defensively? Uh, you know, I think we just come in and, and you know, try to play hard, you know, and just take on the challenge of being much better than another team's second unit, you know, or a tired first unit, um, you know, and continue to come in and do our job and. Um, you know, I think that just comes down to being a good teammate is, you know, coming off the bench and, you know, playing hard, doing the little things, you know, playing together, uh, you know, give it, giving our guys a blow, um, you know, start the game off, you know, and, you know, try to give them some cushion for when they come back in the game. So, um, yeah, I think it's just something that, you know, all of us, um, you know, we have a great, uh, we have a great chemistry together, um, you know, and, you know, it shows when we play, you know, the ball pops, uh, we help each other on defense and fly around. So, um, yeah, I think just, just taking pride in doing our job, really. Jalen, you've gone to a solid offensive rhythm over the last few games. I think scoring double figures, five of your last seven. Just what are you seeing out there that's allowed that? Um, I think just being me, to be honest. Um, you know, not overthinking the game. Um, you know, taking what comes, whether it's in transition, you know, 10 pick and roll, uh, cutting, slashing, um, you know, knocking down shots. Um, you know, just all things that I work on every day, you know. And I think, you know, if I can trust that, you know, which, which I haven't in the past, um, you know, which is frustrating, but, uh, you know, things like that happen. But, you know, if I trust that work that I put in every day, um, you know, I feel like I can, you know, help the team in a multitude of ways, you know, whether it's on the offensive end, defensive end, uh, you know, kind of wherever we need it that night, you know, to have a big impact there. So, um, yeah, I think it's just, you know, being me and, 
you know, playing off the off the confidence, you know, that the that the rest of the guys have in me.